in today's episode, we're going to show you how to install a pond liner. So, in one of the previous episodes with uh, Predatory Friends and when Rodrigo was at my place, we were moving some uh, monster fish and shipping it back to Predatory Fins in Fort Lauderdale. So now that that pond is empty, I want to take advantage of this chance, since it's empty, that it was a black liner and I want to change it to a light blue liner to lighten up the color of the pond. So as you all remember, this was the pond that had all those amazing monster fish in there, all the platinum red tails and the, uh, the short body uh, red tail cats and the albinos. Um, silver arowana. So now it's empty and I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing here. I'm going to be taking out this old black rubber liner and I bought this new uh, light blue PVC liner and I'm going to be changing it and I'll show you guys step by step how I go about installing it and uh, hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on the steps that are going to be involved. First is draining this pond. I have my filter here that can backwash and rinse out most of the water. There's gonna be a few inches left, and uh, those few inches, I'm gonna be uh, using this sump pump down here with the hose and pumping it out, draining it down as low as I can get it. After that's done, I have to take apart these uh, few pieces of PVC plumbing that's over the edge of the tank so that the, the liner will be free from anything. And at that point, I'll just be rolling it out, unfolding it, removing it. Once that's done, then I bring in the new liner and then we're gonna start form fitting it and folding the corners and then reattaching all the plumbing and then filling it all up. I'm gonna try to get all this done in one day. It's gonna be tough, I'm doing it by myself, but hopefully I can get it done. Okay, so the first step is we're gonna start draining this pond. Very simple, I just turn the handle, the backwash, we're gonna flush all this water out. I don't know if you guys can hear that, the water's going through the filter and the uh, water's draining now. So once this is done, then we're gonna do the next step, which is uh, removing these uh, PVC parts and then removing the liner. So we're almost drained. Uh, I think it's about 75% now. Uh, here it is. It was pretty quick, it was only a couple of minutes. This, we can only go as far as the, the intake tube, which is about another inch. Once we get to that point, I'm gonna have to shut down the filter and then start uh, running the, the water out with the sump pump. Okay, so the pond is uh, drained down as far as I can go. I've already stopped the canister, and uh, now we're gonna start up this sump pump here. I got the hose already connected to the pump, and uh, I have this drain here that runs the water out of the, the building into the sewer line. I just plug that in. I mean, I clamp that over so it doesn't fall out. And I'm gonna plug in the pump. There it goes, it's pumping. So this is gonna remove the remaining few inches of water. And then once that's done, the next step is removing the liner. While the pump is removing that, I don't wanna waste time, so I'm gonna start taking apart some of the plumbing. First, I'm gonna remove this, which is the uh, overflow pipe. Uh, when the water level goes up, uh, water can drain out. So I'm gonna remove this one first right now. All right, so that piece is done. Now I gotta get this piece off, uh, which is fairly simple. This is a union ball valve. I just gotta remove this. Some water will come out. I'm just gonna turn it around over watch it. Yeah, I'll just leave it off, the valve is closed. That was easy. <laughs> okay, let me put this aside. And then uh, I gotta remove those two. This one is also fairly easy. I just gotta remove this couple. Just gotta loosen it up. Trips on it. See, I'm faster than the pump. The pump is still draining. So now we're almost there. Looks like maybe another 
three inches. Once that's done, I can start removing the liner. All the plumbing that was uh, overhanging on the pond liner has now been removed. So we're working at a pretty good pace. Um, maybe it's been only about 15 minutes. So hopefully I can meet my goal of getting it done tonight. But uh, that last little bit of water, the pump won't be able to pull it out. So I'm gonna get in and start moving this liner over to help raise the water level up in that corner to help get as much water out as possible. Bringing the liner closer together, it raised the water level over there so that the pump can get more water out. We've uh, removed most of the liner, we've bunched it up so that the water can get out. As you can see, this was the uh, what the tank looked like before. And uh, you can see there's a lot of damage to it, which is the reason why I chose to put the liner, um, because I don't think the, the gel coating is uh, waterproof anymore. All right, so I'm gonna have to mop up all this water, get all this stuff out, let it dry up. And uh, we're almost done here. You wanna show them? So this is a good way. Most people might not have thought of that to bring it like this so that the sump pump can do all the work. But if I didn't do this, that, that little quarter of inch of water across this whole pond would have took me forever to get it out. So you see, I only got a little bit of water left here as I raise it. The water level goes higher and higher and I can get all the rest of this water out. Okay, we're almost there. Okay. So the sump pump has stopped. I'm gonna get out now and disconnect the sump pump and then remove the rest of the liner. And then um, we'll start drying this out. Well worth the money, this pump. It saves me a lot of work. It's seven something. She was filming me and like saying, so I get the hint. They all want to go eat. I got my two kids here at the office and uh, they're watching their iPads. So I'm still out of breath. I think uh, I'm just going to quit for today, take the family to go eat, and finish this up tomorrow.